And good morning, everyone, and welcome to Papago Park. Todd Garbison for Southwest Sports Network, and it's play-by-play -play coverage in the Southwest Woodbat Classics 2016 Spring Championships. And we are underway in a championship game in the 13U-14U combined division. And it features the first pitch dirt bags and the halos. And it's the dirt bags as the visitors as they come in at 3-0. Uh, they went 2-0 and in pool play and then won their semifinal ball game. And same for the Halos. There's a pitch over for a strike, and the count goes to 3-1 and one on Seth Martin, who starts off for the uh, dirt bags. He's the leadoff hitter, and he plays center field. Hitting second is the shortstop, West Cath. And another pitch for a strike. And the count goes to 3-2. and two. Then John Flores will bat third and play third. Tyler Stone at first base bats fourth. Preston Chubba Purdy is the right fielder. And that ball's bounced in. And now Martin will head to first base as he is aboard on a leadoff walk in the Dirtbags' first inning. It'll bring up West Cath. Bryson Tamboni, the catcher, bats sixth as the Dirtbags will bat 10 in today's ballgame. Connor Elwell, their starting pitcher, is seventh. Jacob Folkman, an extra hitter, is eighth. Mason Francis starts in left field and bats ninth. And Jason Reed starts at second base, and he bats 10th for the Dirtbags. Caden Gustafson, the starter for the Halos. And his first pitch to West Cath has low and away for ball one. Now the set from the left-hander and the 1-0 pitch. And that's over for a strike, and the count 1-1. One and one. And Gustafson, the left-hander, ready, and the 1-1 pitch. Over for a called strike, and it's 1-2. and two. Leadoff hitter aboard at first, and nobody out, just getting settled in in the top of the first inning. Had good luck with the lineups in this first game today, so we've got them all written down and set to go. 2-2 two and two now they count on Kath. Check the runner, and that ball foul to the backstop will stay at two balls and two strikes. It's a, a three-pitch or a, a three-two walk to Martin, and now two and two on Cat, the number two hitter, with the runner at first and nobody out. Second tournament in back-to-back uh, -back weekends here for Southwest Woodbat Classics at Papago Park, and there's a, a swing and a miss. Cat strikes out, and that's out number one in today's championship ball game, and the batter will be John Flores. And we'll set the defense for the Halos. Gavin Mueller starts in left field. Hunter Bagshaw is in center field. And Gannon Schubert plays right. Mike Seto at third base. Jared Lazenby the shortstop. Cade Yorks at second. Brandon Tomey at first. And Xavier Gonzalez behind the plate catching Caden Gustafson. And a big breaking ball to John Flores. Misses inside for ball one. The 1-0 pitch. Skipped in there for a ball, and it's 2-0. Two balls, no strikes to count. One on, one out, top of the first inning. Dirt bags at the plate. And that ball tapped slowly back to the pitcher, Gustafson. They go to second for the out, on to first base. Close, but not in time as Flores... Got down the line, I guess they call him safe at second base. And I guess we'll make a, a change here. So it's going to go as a fielder's choice for the batter. Martin safe at second base, and there's a change in the Dirtbags lineup. That was actually Tyler Stone. Again, assuming the numbers are right, we got a, a handwritten lineup from the coaches prior to the start of the game with Flores batting third and Stone hitting fourth, but I guess they have flip-flopped the lineup, and that pitch is over for a strike. 
And so it's Tyler Stone batting third, and he's the one aboard at first base. And now it's John Flores at the plate. So, so much for having, uh, having the lineups all set up before the game starts. Pitch fouled back. Should have picked it up sooner, I suppose. The numbers, you know, easy to pick out, but just uh, as Stone put the ball in play, saw 55 running down the first baseline and did a double take on the lineup card. And Gustafson with a look back to second, two aboard and one out. The big curveball stays way outside. So we'll talk about John Flores a little bit more. <laughs> the third baseman batting in the cleanup spot. The first baseman, Tyler Stone, just uh, finished his at-bat. Runners go, breaking ball, misses, and uh, now they're going to have the runner in a rundown, a tag over at first base and out at first. So Martin goes to third on the play. They choose to go after Tyler Stone. And it's a 2-6-3 put out of Stone as he dives back late at first base. So 2-2 two and two the count on Flores. Two outs in the inning with Martin at third. And the pitch is low, and it's 3-2. and two. And that one back up the middle. Gustafson took a stab at it, could not get it, and it's a single into center field for John Flores. And the Dirtbakes have a run in the top of the first inning. RBI single scores Martin. And the batter will be Chubba Purdy. First pitch fouled out of play. Nothing and one on Purdy. A little snap throw from Gustafson over to first, and Flores is back. Runner at first and two outs are run in for the dirt bags in the top of the first inning. Halo's trying to find the final out here, and Gustafson's pitch rolled over foul. Third base on, and the count is 0 2. Bryson Tamboni, the catcher, next for the dirt bags. And Gustafson looking in, and a left hander with a pitch, and a breaking ball misses outside of the count 1 and 2. First pitch scheduled for 11-15 this morning. Got started just a couple of minutes late. 11-17, the first pitch across. And it's the first of two games that we'll have today here from the 2016 Spring Championships. We'll have another 14U championship game a little bit later on. And a ground ball out towards short, picked up by Lazenby. Bobbled it, but taps the bag at second. And the final out is recorded a fielder's choice for Purdy to end the inning. And for the Dirtbags in the first, they score a run on one hit, and they leave one after a half inning of play. It's the Dirtbags one, and the Halos coming up. And underway in the bottom of the first inning, Cade York leads it off for the Halos and takes strike one. York starts at second base. And the next pitch over but high, and the count one and one. York leading off at second. Kate and Gustafson, the pitcher, will bat second. Jerry Lazenby, the shortstop, is third. Then Xavier Gonzalez works behind the plate and bats fourth. Pitch up and in, two balls and a strike. Hitting fifth is the first baseman, Brendan Tomey. Then Hunter Bankshaw in center field bats sixth. Gavin Miller in left field is seventh. Popped up behind home plate. Playable and put away on a nice catch from the catcher, Bryson Tamboni. Not a lot of altitude on that ball, and so he had to hustle to get back there, and he makes the play in the foul territory for the first out. So York out, brings up Caden Gustafson, the pitcher. 
just to get through the rest of the Halos order. Micah Seto, the third baseman, bats eighth. And the ninth place hitter is the right fielder again in Schubert. First one, Augustuson low for ball one. Connor Elwell, the starting pitcher, gets one over for a strike, and they count one and one. So it's Elwell and Tamboni, the battery. Tyler Stone at first base. Jason Reed at second, and here's Reed with a chance. Gets a high hop off the lip of the infield, and a throw on to first base is in time. And a 4-3 ground out is the second out in the halo first inning. Two away with the bases empty for Jared Lazenby. The rest of the defense then, it's a West Calf, a shortstop, and John Flores at third base. And the dirtbags outfield, Mason Francis in left field, Seth Martin in center, and Chubba Purdy in right. First pitch to Lazenby over for strike one. And next pitch on the inside corner, a strike, and it's 0-2. And that pitch over the outside corner. Elwell mows down Lazenby. It's a three up, three down first for the Halos. And after one, they trail the dirtbags one to nothing. And Bryson Tamboni, the leadoff hitter for the dirtbags, takes low for ball one. And the 1 0 pitch. Low it in, two balls and no strikes. Connor Elwell and Jacob Folkman follow for the dirtbags in the top of the second inning. And the next pitch low, and it's 3-0. and oh. One run and just uh, one hit for the dirtbags in the first inning. A leadoff walk came around to score. Uh, that pitch over for a called strike as Tamboni tossed the bat away, so he'll have to retrieve. And the Halos had a chance to get out of that first inning without giving up a run. I mean, you can't uh, assume all the way through that uh, everything else stays the same as Tamboni takes low for ball four. So he's aboard with a leadoff walk. And we'll see if the dirt bags can cash in like the leadoff walk in the first inning. Tamboni will come off for a courtesy runner. It'll be Purdy on at first base. But Martin walked, and after West Cath struck out, Tyler Stone hit a ground ball. And uh, they went to second base, and uh, safe was the call at second. And then uh, on to first, the throw not in time. So I guess uh, maybe like a vicinity play, but uh, not in uh, the vicinity close enough as Elwell fouls the first one to the backstop, strike one. Leadoff hitter aboard again for the Dirtbags. And a ball hit down the first baseline, fouled out of play, and it's 0-2. And Gustafson ready as he checks the runner. And yeah, that one came out way early. And Gonzalez leaps out of his crouch to save that one from going to the backstop. And the one two fouled out of play. Still one and two on Elwell. Jacob Volkman, the extra hitter next for the Dirtbags. And a breaking ball, high and away, two and two. And Gustafson trying to find command of the curveball here in the early going. And a ground ball rolled out towards second. York will flip to second base, and that's 
Yeah, now they will get the double play this time as the runner at first base, Purdy, did not slide. And so it will go as a force at second, 4-6, and then a runner interference to retire Elwell. And if the runner doesn't give himself up by veering out of the baseline or slide at the bag, then uh, they can call runner interference, and that's what happened there. So now Folkman has to bat with the bases empty. And the first pitch fastball misses inside ball one. Third bags lead 1-0 as they bat in the top of the second inning. Two outs in the base is empty in the 1-0 pitch. That's up high, two balls and no strikes. If Folkman can reach, Mason Francis will be next for the dirt bags. Pitch. Sweeps across the plate for a strike in the count two and one. Yeah, swing and a miss. Two balls and two strikes. And a check swing. As Falkman lays off, the count goes to three and two. Gustafson back up there, ready to go, a three-two pitch. And it got him with a swing and a miss. Falkman strikes out to end the inning. Second strikeout for Caden Gustafson. And the Dirtbags do not score in the second. After an inning and a half, they still lead one to nothing. Middle third of the order for the Halos in the second. And the first pitch to Gonzalez over for a strike. And the next one foul off. That got a piece of the catcher, Tamboni, and the count goes to 0-2. And next pitch. Over but high, ball one, one and two. Tome and Bagshaw follow for the Halos in the bottom of the second as they trail the dirt bags one to nothing. And the one two pitch. Over the outside corner, a call third strike. And that is out number one. Second strikeout for Elwell as he struck out the final hitter of the first inning. So he's got back to back strikeouts, and it goes after Brendan Tome. And the first pitch over the outside corner, a strike. The 0-1 from Elwell off the plate for a ball, one and one. Back to the wine of the 1-1 pitch. Popped up in the infield, and it'll be the shortstop Kath with the play, and that's out number two. Now two away for Hunter Bagshaw. The ball fouled off down the first base side, strike one. And that's popped up, first base line in the foul side of the field. And Stone is there to put it away. And it ends the inning. Now six up and six down for the Halos. After two, they still trail the dirt bags one to nothing. Nine, ten, and one in the order for the dirt bags as Mason Francis leads off and he takes strike one from Caden Gustafson. And a curveball over the outside corner, a strike in its own two. Gustafson, a big left hander. And again, if he can dial in that curveball, it's going to be tough. 
the rest of the way. Next one low and outside, and it's one and two. Francis Reed and Martin for the dirtbags in the third. And a ground ball rolled out to Lazenby. He's got it and throws on to first base in time, and that's uh, out number one. Six three ground out. Retires Francis, and the batter is Jason Reed. And another ground ball on a couple of hops. This one a little tougher play as Lazenby had to charge to field in between hops there. Threw a high throw over to first, but Tome up high and then back down to get the foot on the bag before Reed can get there. And it's back-to-back 6-3 ground outs. Back to the top of the dirt bags order for Seth Martin, who walked and scored the lone run of the game back in the first. And a swing and a miss on a curveball, strike one. Well, just off the plate, one and one. A little different arm angle there for Gustafson. Third bags lead one nothing. Batting in the top of the third, the one one pitch off the plate, two and one. And next pitch low, three balls and a strike. and walked on a 3-2 pitch his first time up, sitting 3-1 now, and now 3-2. So he'll go full for the second plate appearance in a row. And a 3-2, foul to the backstop. And that is a called third strike. Plate umpire took an extra look at it. Gustafson gets it near the outside corner, and it ends the inning. It's his third strike out of the ball game, and it's the first time that uh, the dirtbags go up and down in order. We move to the bottom of the third. They still lead one to nothing. Seven, eight, and nine in the order for the Halos in the bottom of the third inning, looking for their first base runner as Gavin Miller fouls the first pitch away for a strike. It's been six up and six down. And the 0-1 over the outside corner, a strike, and it's nothing in two. Pop up on the first base side. It's Stone there to make the catch. Lead off hitter retired in the Halo third inning. And Mike Aceto, the third baseman, goes after the first one and fouls it out of play. Trying to break through here in the third inning. Seven batters up, seven batters down. That's off the handle and a ball hit over to the second baseman. On to first and in time. Reed had to uh, make a decision there. Wasn't sure if he could get it on the fly and so gets up to it, waits for the hop and then throws to Stone at first base for out number two. Now Gannon Schubert. Going to get changes here with two outs as Folkman is on to play first base. Looks like Stone is going to move from first to third. 
And Flores comes out of the ball game. First pitch to Schubert on the outside corner from Elwell, strike one. And the 0-1 pitch. And that's fouled off the uh, Kenter Tamboni as it knocked him right over on his back pocket there. And we'll take a break. Playing in the bottom of the third, 1-0 dirtbags. Tamboni stays in there. Elwell's 0-2 pitch popped up. And it'll be Elwell that calls for it. And he'll make the catch to end the inning. Now nine up and nine down for the Halos. And after three, they still trail the dirtbags one to nothing. And first pitch and a fly ball into shallow center field off the bat of West Cath. Leadoff hit for the Dirtbags in the fourth inning. And now the batter, Tyler Stone. Just the second base hit of the ball game. Both of them belong to the Dirtbags. So they had a single back in the first and now a leadoff single in the fourth. First pitch to Stone over but high, and it's ball one. And a pitch over for a strike, and it's one and one on Stone. He's the one that rolled into that, uh, you know, what turned out to be a fielder's choice, the ground ball where they went to second base but missed touching the bag. And then the throw on to first wasn't in time to get Tyler. Takes low and in for ball two, two and one. And the breaky ball fouled off, and it's two and two. John Flores next for the dirt bags. They lead one to nothing in the top of the fourth. It's the 2016 Spring Championships. And a fly ball hit well out to left field, and that's going to get over the head of Mueller and roll just shy of the warning track. They're going to send Kath around third base, and there will not be a throw. He scores all the way from first. It's an RBI double for Tyler Stone, and it's 2 nothing dirt bags. Back-to-back -back base hits for the Dirtbags in the fourth. And now with Stone at second and nobody out, plus a run in, the batter is John Flores. First pitch, low and in ball one as it moves the feet of Flores a bit. He had the first base hit of the ball game back in inning number one. Pitch fouled off the uh, catcher Gonzalez and they count one and one. And a ground ball foul wide of third base. They count a ball on two strikes. Two nothing dirt bags as they bat in the top of the fourth inning. Back to second base, and they got him at second as Stone was too far off the bag. Gustafson turns and throws, and they pick off the runner for the first out. And that's a big out there for the Halos to get rid of that runner in scoring position with nobody out. Pitch off the plate, and they count two and two. And 
Gustafson back to work the 2-2. Breaking ball misses, and it's 3-2. and two. And the 3-2 pitch. And a fly ball into shallow center. Bagshaw coming on. Now sets his feet and makes the catch for out number two. Purdy at the plate, fouls it off for a strike. And a ball rolled foul outside of third base, and it's 0-2. Now this is the fourth 13U, 14U tournament of the spring for Southwest Woodbat Classics. So you get a, a tapper back. Gustafson reaches out to make a nice play and then on to first base to retire the side. But the Dirtbags add another run. They do it on two hits and no runners left on base after three and a half. It's now the Dirtbags two and the Halos nothing. As we start at the bottom of the fourth inning for the Halos, a pitching change for the Dirtbags as John Flores is now on to pitch. Cade York takes ball one. And now the 1-0 over for a high strike, and it's 1-1. One one. So Flores on the mound. Connor Elwall stays in the ball game and takes over at third base. And Tyler Stone moves back across the diamond to first. After the foul ball, one and two the count to York, who fouled out to the catcher Tamboni in the first. Rolls a ground ball out to the shortstop, Kath, on to first base in time. And the leadoff hitter retired. 6-3 ground out. Starts the Halo fourth inning. That's 10 up and 10 down. Connor Elwell pitched a perfect three innings. Three innings, no hits, no runs, no walks, struck out two. And Gustafson drives that ball into right center, and that uh, is the first hit of the ball game, first base runner of the ball game for the Halos. And now we'll see if they can cash in, trailing two to nothing in the fourth. York will come on to run for Gustafson at first base as a courtesy runner. Now Jared Lazenby, who was called out on strikes in the first. with the throw over to first and the runner back. Another throw over and again the runner back. And base runners have been uh, more than precious for the Halos. This is their first one of the ball game and we're playing with one out in the fourth. So I don't know that they'll do much, but uh, maybe it's a pretty good lead over there at first. Gonna try him again and again the runner back. One on, one out, bottom of the fourth inning. Halos down 2 nothing, And a line drive caught. And uh, the ball just rolls out as Stone was diving over to first base to try to make the double play. But a great effort to make the catch in foul territory, that soft line drive. Stone retires Lazenby. And then again, he dove over to first base, slams the glove on the bag, trying to get to it before York can get back to first, and the ball came out. So York's still running for Gustafson at first base, two away in the inning for Xavier Gonzalez. Throw over again. Great, great. 
Halo's down a couple of runs playing in the Spring Championships game. Pitch low and in, and it's 1-0. Oh. It broke the teams up into divisions, north and south, sort of one division, then east and west in another. And uh, I guess kind of the way I understand it is they put all the 13 U teams in the east-west division as it pitches outside. And again, there may be a 13 that, that's not, so I, I don't know all the teams uh, as far as ages and so forth, but my understanding is they put uh, the 13 U teams and then some of the 14s in this division where uh, we're seeing this championship game, the east versus west. And then the north-south is 14 U teams, maybe kind of the majors division versus AAA type thing. Again, that's not to say that uh, one team shouldn't be in one division or the other. That's just uh, my understanding, kind of how the uh, tournament decided to break it up. Two and one on Gonzalez with a runner at first. And the pitch bounce foul, third base side. It's two and two. Brandon Tommy next for the Halos. A warm day as uh, temperatures have climbed since we were here last weekend for sure. And now the runner goes, pitch outside, a throw down to second base, and safe the call. Well, that was a strike from Tamboni, but I guess York got in just ahead of the tag, so it's a stolen base. The count goes to three and two. Extra time looking back to second from Flores and Gonzalez calls time. And a ground ball, fair ball just inside of the bag. Down the left field line, that'll score a run as York scores. And Gonzalez is in at second base. An RBI double puts the Halos on the board, and they trail 2-1. to one. Lazenby comes on to run for Gonzalez at second. Brendan Tomei will bat. And he lifts a fly ball into shallow left center. That's going to drop for a base hit. Could tie the ball game. Here comes the throw to the plate. It's off the mark. It's going to sail to the backstop. And Tomei ends up at second base. Tell me credit for an RBI single to score. Lazenby running for Gonzalez, ties the game at two, and then as the throw goes to the plate, Tell me goes to second base. So it's a 2-2 ball game. We start over here in the bottom of the fourth inning. A runner at second and two outs for Hunter Bagshaw. He's got a chance to give the Halos a lead. And a slow ground ball over toward third. Elwell has it. Sets and throws to first base. And the inning is over. A 5-3 ground out. Finishes the Halo fourth. But they respond with two runs on three hits. They leave one. And after four, it's the Halos two and the Dirtbags two. So Dirtbags. Bats will have to go back to work here in the fifth inning in a 2-2 game. Tim Boney with a fly ball into right field. Yeah, maybe a little more toward right center, but the catch made. One pitch and one out in the fifth. That's Schubert out there still in right. 
batter is Connor Elwell. First one way outside, ball one. Again, it's uh, sort of free substitutions as far as the defense goes, so players can be moved around sort of at will. And there's a ball into shallow right. That's going to fall for a base hit. Elwell will stop at first base, a one-out single. And it brings up Jacob Folkman. And it is Schubert still out there in right field. So he made the catch on the first one. Didn't have a chance really on that second one. It just uh, got a handful of steps onto the outfield grass. He had a long way to go to try to get there. Now Folkman with one on and one out. A 2-2 ball game as we play in the fifth. And an easy toss over to first. Sends the runner back. Pitch off the plate for ball one to Folkman, who struck out swinging to end the second inning. And that ball beat foul over on the first base side of the count of one and one. Breaking ball hit back up the middle off the glove of Gustafson, and that's going to turn into a base hit. And when it rolled up the middle, Gustafson got a piece of it, but it was off the end of his glove, and it deflected away from the shortstop Lazenby. And now two aboard with one out for Mason Francis, who grounded out his first time up. 2-2 Two -two score, top of the fifth. First pitch catches the inside corner, strike one. And the one strike pitch is outside, one and one. Oh, well, it's second, Volkman at first, one out in the Dirtbags' fifth inning. Dirtbags with a run in the first and one in the fourth. Halos respond with two in the bottom of the fourth. Runners go, swing and a miss, throw it down to third base, and out by a bunch at third. So a 2-5 caught stealing, retires Elwell. Volkman did take second base on the play. So a runner at second with two outs, but a 1-2 count on Francis. And Gustafson a pitch away from getting out of trouble. Misses off the plate, 2-2. Two and two. Get him right here, Caden. If Francis can reach, Jason Reed would be next. And a line drive past the third baseman, Aceto, and into left field, and that'll break the tie as the Dirtbags go on top 3-2. to two. It's an RBI double from the number nine hitter, Mason Francis. Francis drives in the run, third hit of the inning. Just one run to show for it to this point for the Dirtbags. And the batter, Jason Reed. Reed grounded out to the shortstop, Lazenby, his first time up. That was in the third. First pitch outside, ball one.
Back to second and they pitch over for a strike and it's one and one. Three runs, six hits, no errors for the Dirtbags. Two runs, three hits, no errors for the Halos. And the 1-1 one -one popped up. It'll be the second baseman, York, calling for it. And makes the catch to end the inning. But the Dirtbags break the tie. They get a run on three hits. They leave one. And after four and a half, it's the Dirtbags three and the Halos two. Kevin Miller, the leadoff hitter in the fifth inning for the Halos, takes ball one. And fouls the next one to the backstop and they count one and one. Sato and Schubert follow for the Halos, trailing now three to two. Pitch near the outside corner, a strike, and it's one and two. And the one-two pitch. Ground ball over toward third. Elwell has it and fires across to Stone at first base in time. Man, that's a 5-3 ground out, one away. And here comes Folkman into the ball game. Stone will come off. So if the dirtbags follow the trend, then that means that uh, Stone's going to go warm up to or maybe enter the game on the mound. We'll see. Pitch to Micah Aceto on the outside corner of strike. Micah with a ground out his first time up. Another one over the outside corner, and it's 0-2. And, and Flores with a two-strike pitch. Popped up in foul territory, and Elwell gives chase, but can't get to it. Halos had a nice fourth inning after going three up and three down in each of the first three innings. Sent six to the plate, scored twice on three hits. Pitch off the plate, and it's one and two. So they bunch their hits and runs together in the same inning. The dirt bags with single runs in the first, fourth, and fifth. Popped up. This one might be playable. Going to be a long run again. And uh, once again, Elwell can't get to it. Two balls and two strikes. And Flores into the wind and the 2 2 pitch. Fouled out of play. So I mentioned that this is the fourth. 13U, 14U tournament in uh, the spring here for the Southwest Woodbat Classics. They'll open it up once the high school season ends to uh, all youth age divisions, or at least, I guess, 13 to 18. Ball into foul territory, first base side this time. And it's Folkman that gave chase, but couldn't get to it. So Santos fouled off four different two-strike pitches, and this has turned into what will be at least a nine-pitch at bat. For the next tournament coming up, uh, just about, uh, I guess, four weeks away, something like that, the Summer Classic, May 20th through the 22nd. And then a busy June. Three weekend tournaments in June. 
as the count goes to three and two. Southwest Woodbat Classics will have the Desert Classic June 9th through 12th, the Copper State Summer Showcase the 16th through the 19th, and the Cactus Classic the 23rd through the 27th. And that ball bounced back up the middle, fielded by the bag at second, fired onto first base, and that is in time. Nice play by West Gath. Had to go a little ways to get it. And then fired a strike to first base. That'll bring up Gannon, uh, Gannon I beg your pardon, Gannon Schubert. Ground ball foul outside of third base, strike one. Two outs, base is empty, bottom of the fifth inning, Halos trailing three to two. Off the end of the bat, popped up, and it's Folkman there to make the catch. And it's a three up, three down inning again for the Halos. After five, they trail the dirt bags three to two. Top of the order for the Dirt Bags in the sixth inning as Seth Martin takes ball one. And the next one misses. Two balls and no strikes. Caden Gustafson still out there for the Halos. He's gone five innings, allowed three runs on six hits. Struck out three and walked two. And they get a fly ball into left field. And that's caught for out number one. Nice to get the leadoff hitter. And now Gustafson will face West Cap. First pitch inside, ball one. Next one over for a strike, one and one. The one one pitch. Another one lifted into left field. And that's caught for round number two. Waiting for Tyler Stone. And the first pitch over strike one. And a big sweeping breaking ball, swing and a miss, and it's 0-2. Yeah, and that pitch a called third strike. And so Gustafson has a quick three up, three down, sixth inning through five and a half, still three to two. Dirt bags. Halo set up the top of the order in the bottom of the sixth, facing a new dirt bags pitcher as Katie York takes strike one from Tyler Stone. Next pitch is inside, one ball and one strike. York, Gustafson, Lazenby for the Halos in the sixth. Stone on the mound. Flores stays in and plays first base. And that pitch looked good. Called a ball, and it's two and one. The two one pitch. Fly ball lifted into center field. Reed now in center. And Martin now at second. So it's Reed with the catch. And that's out number one. And Gustafson ready. And a ground ball over toward first base. Stone can't get it. Still a flip to first base. 
is in time. So Stone gets over there. And it goes as a 3-1 put out of Gustafson at second base. Two away in the inning for Jared Lazenby. John Flores then pitched the fourth and the fifth. So two innings, three hits, two runs allowed. No walks, no strikeouts. Fouled back for strike one. Flores gave up the lead, but then his team got a run in the top of the fifth inning, so he's in line for the win if the score stays the same, or if at least if the dirtbags don't uh, give up the lead. Pitch a strike, and it's 0-2. Two. two outs, bases empty, bottom of the sixth inning. Halo's down 3-2. to two. Pitch outside, one ball and two strikes. And that pitch over the outside corner, a called third strike. So Stone goes through the top of the order, three up and three down. And we go to the seventh inning. Halos still trail the dirt bags three to two. Four, five, and six in the order for the dirt bags in the seventh. John Flores takes ball one. And the next pitch low, and it's 2-0. and And a ball hit into right field and put away for out number one. Leadoff hitter down in the seventh inning as Schubert made the catch. Chava Purdy, the right fielder, at least uh, started in right field. I don't know if he's been out there every inning, but yeah, it's a deep fly ball to left field. That's going to be trouble if it's fair, and it's going to bounce on two hops to the wall. Going to send him around, try to get him to third base, and the relay throw bobbled. And it's a one-out triple for Purdy. Seventh base hit for the Dirtbags, and their third extra base hit. And the batter is Bryson Tamboni with the infield drawn in. First pitch outside, ball one. And this is a big run either way, whichever side you're on. Dirtbags would love to add to the lead. Halo's trying to keep it a one-run ball game in the seventh. Fastball misses outside, and it's 2-0. Another, I guess, thing to consider is where you want to pitch. Do you want to pitch to Tamboni, or do you want to sort of pitch around him? That one over the outside corner fouled off, and it's 2-1. and one. Put the runner on, then a double play ball ends the inning. Bet they'd be facing Connor Elwell, who had a base hit his last time up. Tamboni with a walk in the second, a fly out in the fifth. Fouls that one off, and it's two and two. Now you got two strikes, and now you're thinking strikeout. Get the second out, relax the infield, and maybe get out of it. Dirt bags up three to two. Another run 90 feet away. Way outside, three balls and two strikes. Single runs in the first, fourth, and fifth for the dirt bags. Halo's got both of their runs in the bottom of the fourth. Another one fouled off. So Halo's do a nice job to come back from two nothing down. Scored twice in the fourth to tie the game, but then uh, promptly came back and gave up the go ahead run in the fifth. And that pitch will miss for ball four. I guess uh, Tamboni will stay on to run at first base. So they're at the corners with one out for Elwell, who singled his last time up. 
First pitch popped up, could be the second out. It's in foul territory and it's caught for out number two. Now two away in the inning for Jacob Folkman who had an infield hit and scored a run his last time up. One for two on the day. 3-2 score. Dirtbags with the lead. And we look ahead to the Halo 7th inning. They'll send up 4, 5, and 6 in the order. Chasing at least one run. It's the runner from first takes off. Going to throw down to second. And not able to make the play. And a throw back to the plate. Not in time. The Halos decided they would gamble and try to throw out Tamboni. The throw was high. And by the time the middle infielder brought it down, and threw back to the plate, it was not in time. Interesting there to uh, go after that runner at second base. Pitch fouled back for a strike. No balls, two strikes on Folkman, but uh, the run in for the Dirtbags, they lead four to two. Runner, runner from second base. Broke early, Tamboni, and then he had to scramble to get back to the bag. And a ball hit well out to left field, but that's playable out there and caught for the final out. So the dirt bag's done in the seventh, but they get a run. And uh, they get it on just the one base hit. They leave one, and after six and a half, Dirtbags four, Halos two. Four, five, and six in the order in the seventh inning for the Halos. Need a base runner to get aboard to get the tying run to the plate as Gonzalez takes strike one from Tyler Stone. High pop up in foul territory. And a ball drops foul, strike two. That Boney got that uh, mask off in a hurry, but I think he made a little contact with the plate umpire trying to get to the ball. And that happens with those uh, catchers and umpires back there. One low and away, one ball and two strikes. Tommy and Bagshaw follow for the Halos in the seventh as they trail four to two. And a swing and a miss. Gonzalez strikes out, first out of the inning. Brennan Tomey who had an RBI single his last time up. And yeah, ball foul to the backstop. Strike one. One strike pitch. That's low. One ball and one strike. And the one one. That's a swing and a miss. One and two. One two pitch. And it's sent over to the right side, picked up on a couple of bounces on to first base. In time, Martin throws out Tommy at first base. And the Halos down to their final out here in the seventh. Both of their runs, all three of their hits for the Halos came in one inning. That was in the fourth. 
They've left just one runner on as every other inning has been three up and three down. Hunter Bagshaw is fouled out and grounded out. And a fastball high and it's one and one. Right back up the middle, Stone able to knock it down, throws on to first base in time. Hopefully Stone's okay there. I don't know if that hit him. Yeah, it looks like it shakes him up a little bit, but uh, gets the final out. And that's the ball game. Halos up and down in order in the bottom of the seventh. And the Halos fall to the Dirtbags by a score of 4-2. to two. Totals on the game for the Dirtbags, four runs, seven hits, no errors, and three left. For the Halos, two runs on three hits, no errors, one runner left on base. John Flores gets the win, Keaton Gustafson with the loss, and Tyler Stone the save for the Dirtbags. And uh, time of the game, an hour and 32 minutes. It's a quick one here to get all seven in in this one from Papago Park. So that will do it. Congratulations to the first pitch Dirtbags. They are the 2016 Spring Championship champions. And uh, once again, our final score, it's the Dirtbags 4 and the Halos 2 from Papago Park. Todd Garbison for Southwest Sports Network saying so long. And uh, we'll have another championship game coming up for you a little bit later on here from Papago Park.